B2 Maison de Poincy condominium. There's only one of these folks. This is the premier unit at Maison de Poincy. As you can see, it's got its own sugar mill living room and upstairs bedroom. Not often you can own a sugar mill, especially one in good shape and integrated into an already existing living space. But check this out. Downstairs, there's a closet associated with this unit. There is a neighboring unit on, on the side to the left here, but the mill, the living room and kitchen are all what make up B2. Let's go in for a closer look at this place. Wow. Okay, we're up at the top of the stairs. As you can see, there's a landing here, an entry foyer, and here's the front door. As we come in, the mill is here to our right. But let's first go to the left side. I'll show you the dining area here. Beautiful picture windows looking out. You actually see the South Shore from this room, which is pretty awesome for Maison de Poincy. They're not known for ocean views, but they're known for their history and their character and their beautiful stonework, tray ceilings, and very elegant feel to these units. Super light, bright and airy, comfy living room. There's a laundry room down below here. And then as we head back towards the front door, we have the kitchen, which we'll hit in a second, and then one of the bedrooms. This is a two bedroom, three bath unit. So you've got two full bedrooms, three full baths, which is kind of nice because if you have somebody, you know, sleeping on the sofa out here or visiting, you'll see that half bath is a full bath. So they too will have their own full bath. I've always thought to myself, if you're building a half bath, the incremental cost of a, another shower or a tub is so minimal, why not just make it a full bath? And this is what they did. Maybe this place is a little before its time. Closets run all down this side of this hallway. Linen closet here. And then it has a pull down attic. I was up there earlier and there's a brand new water heater up there. There is a light and you can see the roof structure. So if you're doing a home inspection, have them check it out. Everything looked super tight and clean up there to me. Nice to be able to get to your roof structure. Got your vanity, mirror, medicine cabinets on either side, and then into the bathroom itself where there's the water closet, tub, and shower. You know, this is a vintage property. I mean, it's, yeah, you probably want to do some updating, but what's here is in excellent condition. It's lovingly maintained for decades by the same family. And this is the first time it's come on the market and well, in my 32 years, I've never seen it for sale. So I'm honored to be able to offer it for sale and put this thing on the market. It's got the vintage cabinets, got a Formica countertops, the old stainless steel porcelain sink. You got a pantry on the end here. And this is a real cool piece of history. Check this out. Kendrick's Restaurant, a signed print by Dave and Ke Jane Kendrick, current owners, along with their son of Touche, which is awesome, like all the restaurants they've had. And then there's the pass throughout from the kitchen into the living room. Completely functional, super clean, good condition. You might want to renovate it, change it, update it. That's up to you. And then we're back full circle to the front door. And then right off the foyer here is the full bath, guest bath. So this would normally be a half bath in most, in most places, but as you can see, it's got a shower. And so if you have a, you know, kids or whoever, third, you know, third bedroom guests using a sofa out there, they can utilize this bathroom for themselves. And here we are entering the actual mill. Look at that arched entrance. Gorgeous. Talk about character. You just don't find stuff like this anymore. And it's cost prohibitive to build it. If you look how thick this is, that's probably five feet thick. These things were built to last. Nice arched windows, and a gorgeous staircase that swirls its way up to the top bedroom. Take a peek out here real quick. This is a nice little lookout from the mill down to the parking area. 
And again, another gorgeous stone arch, mahogany doors and framing, just beautiful. Now they've poured a concrete slab ceiling in here, which serves as the upstairs bedroom flooring. So take another look at this and then we'll head on up. Up we go to the upstairs bedroom. Nice concrete railing on the right. Beautiful ventilation window here as you come around the turn. And a super cute little chandelier up there. I love this thing. Check out the concrete railing here. And then when you get to the top, there's your chandelier. There's your window. And then there's a small bathroom here. Got your vanity. It is a shower. Toilet with a window above. And then into the bedroom. Another concrete slab forming the ceiling above. So you're in a serious bunker here. Closet there, another window here, and then looking back down the steps leading up. Unfortunately, our neighbor over here is cutting tile, so I apologize for the noise you might hear, but doing a little renovations. And here we are with Stephanie on the mezzanine. Look at that, huh? South Shore view. Tile cutter, and actually a peak of Buck Island. Believe it or not, it's hazy, but that right there is Buck Island. But look at this mill, little ferns growing off of it. So much character. Looking back down through the wrought iron to the entry area here, which is where we came up. So you would park here, as you can see, we park there and then you would walk up to the steps to the front door. So just a great setup. If you're looking for something historic, easy to maintain, this is it. Price right for a piece of history. I mean, it's hard. How do you price a piece of history like this? Not easy, but I can tell you this, they aren't making any more of these. So if you want to live in a mill, this is your opportunity at a very affordable price. So if you want to check it out, give us a call. We'll be happy to show it to you. And uh, maybe you'll be the next lucky owner of the first time on market, Mason de Pointe Mill. Good luck. Hope you give us a call. Have a great day, everybody.